Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alan Camille Trent. Today we're having some fun on Friday. We're making some fun little doodle Christmas trees. Simple layering technique and then using a gel pen to create this really cute, simple watercolor tree. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Also, um, don't forget to check out my Patreon. Each week I have exclusive tutorials. This week I did a watercolor lighthouse so you might want to go check that out and also if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and let's get out our paints and let's have some fun okay so um, I'm gonna go over all my supplies that I have I'd have a bunch of like three and a half inch by five inch pieces of arches cold pressed paper there's like if they have scraps you can make them smaller if you have bigger pieces you can make them bigger um, I just tape down with scotch tape just simple scotch tape, you know, to make a triangle shape in the tree. Um, here's an example of one I played with. Super easy, fun. Um, you'll obviously need your watercolors. I have my water jars, you can see. One's kind of a filthy looking jar, but it's actually clean water. And brushes, you don't need anything particular, but um, I'm probably gonna use my Princeton 8 Long Round, a bunch of other brushes. I'm gonna be just playing with greens and blues and yellows this is still like a layering technique that's a lot of fun and there's so many things you can do so many ways you can do it um it's a lot of fun so to get started like i said i taped down the triangle so you can see it's like a triangle and i'm just going to grab some paint that i have already mixed here i'm just going to grab this olive green here and take this on my brush and we're just going to make like the simple, see on this one, I just did these simple swipe up shapes. So take the brush, I'm going to swipe up like that, just like that. And again here, this is just mindless, easy, fun, simple. Don't even have to worry about what you're doing. Just doing a simple swipe up. So we're gonna have to let this color dry before we can go on to the next color. You wanna just take your paper towel. Oh, I also have paper towels with me. Just to swipe up the excess water paint here. Um, so every layer you have to let it dry in between. If you don't, it's gonna bleed. Some of these I didn't let dry and it bleeds. So you might wanna, you know, you gotta dry it, come back. Okay, once that layer is dry, you're going to do another layer. Now I've got this peacock blue up here. And I have a little green mixed in with it, but you can just keep it blue. And then we're going to crisp, we're going to go over again, swiping up. If you hit it, look at that. It's a little too dry. You create this really cool layer of another color. So we're going to do this again and again and again. Now, while that's drying, we could at this point go in between that color with a, another color. I'd like to have this yellowy green here. So I can go in between if I wanted to little skinny ones and then let that dry completely and then we'll come back again okay so this is completely dry now I'm going to go in with another green I take that olive green here since it's kind of blue and yellows I'm going to put some more olive green in here really loose and I'm going to try and fill in those white spaces Again, going over. If you want a darker color too, I can go grab some of this uh, Prussian blue and mix them with some of the green. So you're gonna get different varieties of the colors that are blended, see? Now I might wanna made it, made it chunkier and not so thin 
but that's how I played around with it. And of course, we're going to have to let this dry. So once it's dry, you can just lift up all that tape. Or if you want to wait, I have um, a Uniball gold um, gel pen. And like I did in this one, I just kind of went over like where they kind of meet. You know, the little lines. I just went kind of next to them. You don't even have to do this step. Kind of change it up. Just adding kind of the media kind of thing here. Some gold. It's just something fun to do. So then you just lift up the tape from the whole tree. And you have this really cool, funky, layered, kind of very sophisticated tree. And then with the gold pen, or you can use gold paint. You just make the nice little tree stem. And then you can write some words across. So that's the first one. It's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> we can do the same thing, but this time, see, I'm going to grab my tape. I'm going to make my tree. You can hear the tape whoop, crisscross, and then across again. We're going to go horizontal. We went vertical, now we're going to go horizontal with our stripes. Super simple. Now, I, if you wanted to make a bunch of these, I would just lay them all out on the board and do like one stripe and then dry it and then do another stripe and dry it. So you can get a whole bunch of trees done at once if you do cards this way. So, just like that. And you can make a wiggle, you can make it straight. If you want to use like a flatter brush, I have this, uh, just this little craft brush that works great too. Let me grab some of that. Just a simple, flat, small, skinny brush. And you just do your greens. I'm doing it pretty chunky this time. And as always, we're gonna have to let this dry and come back. So that layer is dry. And again, I'm gonna go grab some blue. This peacock blue is nice and bright and pretty. I'm just going to go over this. Oop, not wet enough. See how I created a darker green over the green, but then still left blue. And then, of course, I want that to dry and then go over with another color. And once again, you can go back over with like that chartreuse kind of yellowy green. So you're playing around with adding more stripes. I would do a little down here. Because where the yellow is going to be that blue, it's going to be green. And just like that. And then we'll dry that. Okay, so then you can go back in again with the gold pen and just go over some of the lines going across. Just, looking, just adds a little something, something. You can do polka dots in between the lines, you know, get creative, put some more gold in the lines itself. And of course, we'll lift up the tape. So we have a stripe going vertical, stripe going horizontal. And then now, the same premise, we're going to do some more fun. This is just like ridiculously fun. Now sometimes it's like, what? Side. <laughs> so we're gonna do the tree again with the tape. You can have so much fun. I would suggest like you want to do a bunch of these um, like I said, I'm all lined up on a 
pad or something. So now we'd use that Princeton brush again. Think of the tree in like leaf shapes. So we can take the same thing and we're going to make little leaf petals. So basically little leaf shapes like this. Simple little leaf shapes. Somehow it doesn't want to cooperate, right? I'm just going to go all throughout, just making these little simple leaf shapes. And you, of course, you can paint right out on top of that. Um, tape. You can make them bigger and smaller. You don't have to keep them kind of similar size. I think I'll stop playing around with it when I have the second color coming in. But basically we're going to be just doing this. Making these simple leaf shapes. This is just like a doodle basically. I would call it tree doodles. <laughs> but they're just easy and fun and creative you can just go nuts it doesn't require serious skill it's just something enjoyable to do so i'm just i'm just doing little peaks of leaves here some of these aren't as pointy as i'd like so i'm gonna go back and fix them okay so we're going to let that dry and come back with that. So that is dry and we're going to go back in with another color. We can make it more like a bluey, a darker bluey, <laughs> bluey <laughs> turquoise um, than that bright, bright peacock. Again, I'm going to go over. Don't want too much water on this. See, it's kind of water. And you just going over the leaves that you just did. That simple. And when it meets, it will change color, as you can see. Just with this blue color. This is so simple, fun, easy. kind of takes all the stress away. I would call it like a little art therapy, Christmas card making. Don't you think? You know, I've did some serious tutorials this past week, so <laughs> let's get a little art therapy. Just mindless painting. Um, flowers for me kind of do that. I haven't done a flower. I mean, I normally I would do a flower today, but I just felt like doing some mindless doodling. So that's a nice look we're getting here. And then you can fit that turquoise is dry. You could go on top of that. See, again, you're creating a darker turquoise. See how I did that one up here? And do like another one here and you can see what I'm talking about. Simple, fun patterns. It's that, it's that easy. Okay, so we'll let this dry and come back. Now, at this point, you can keep continuing going over color, 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 or you can throw in some look, little red dots, you know, for um, like balls of Christmas. It depends on how you want to do it. So I might grow in, go in, add some more yellow, the chartreuse color again, and see how I like it. Just play around with adding more leaves, this bright yellow color. Leave upon leave. You can do different sizes, like I said, small and large. Just playing around with adding the color. It's so much fun, actually. I can make some bigger ones. I have a lot of the same size, so I'm going to make a big one. And maybe a big one here. And here, just going over all of them. Just 
just like that. It's just a whole, it's just a simple layering technique. As you see, because it's translucent, watercolor is translucent, so the other color is coming through. So I'm going to dry this and come back. Once, once this is dry, we can go in and add some even different details. So I have this dark green, I'm making a dark green here. You could just outline some of them, or not, you know? You can play around with adding um, little sprigs, or even take this dark green color and water it down again, and adding more leaves. Or maybe a different type of leaf. Depends. Play around with this. It can be longer and skinnier. See, I'm making it longer and skinnier. I don't know if I like the outline, so I decided to paint over it. For me, it's an experiment just like you. Everything is different once you do it. So I'm adding the screen, but I just love this layering technique. It's fun. It's creative. You can probably spend days doing this. Not a care in the world. So we're going to let that dry and come back. Okay, so at this point I'll take the gel pen. I might do some like gold dots in between the white areas. I left it white this time. I didn't go over all of it. I want it to be different. Just going in all those little spaces and the ones that don't even have the spaces, still doing that. Just a different tree. Look at the same technique. It's very pretty, isn't it? I mean, you could just spend hours doing these. And we're gonna do one more Fun little tree. So far we have stripe this way, stripe that way. I think this is pretty cool. And I'm we'll gonna do one more fun one. And where do you think it's gonna be? Hmm? And <laughs> take a guess. Grab some my tape again. I do the tape down here. Crisscross it. And again. Did you guess circles? <laughs> then you would have won the prize. So, and I'm gonna get it a little bit darker this time. I was being on very light earlier. Usually start off light. I'm gonna start off a little bit different color tone. Slightly darker. Okay, big old circles. Just like that. Make them fairly large. Polka dot tree. And I change the color scheme a little bit. These are the easiest cards you can ever make with watercolor. And I think the, it's just so much fun. You see how you play with the wet on wet and the, the, the layering technique because it's a translucent paint. While this is still wet, we're gonna try and do some wet on wet and um, then go over the layer. So. This is still wet. We could take a really deep green, even deeper than that. Put a little dot right in the middle and have it bleed out. See what fun that makes. It's just gonna change the whole dynamic of the layering. 
Okay, so we're going to let that dry. I'm going to come back. Okay, so it's dry. Now I can go in and add more of a light green, yellowy green. Let's see how that looks with the layering. I might want to make it a little bit lighter. Kind of fun. Kind of fun, silly. You know, going over the other circles. I just love the layering technique. You could spend days upon days doing this all different ways. I really like a circle one. Just playing with shapes. Seriously, that's all we're doing. Going that green one in. Okay, so we're going to let that dry and come back. All right, so this one's kind of dry. I'm going to change up big time. I'm going to actually throw in a, one whole color over all of it. Let's see how this comes out. So I have that peacock blue mix with some of the it's turquoise again. And we're going to go a little crazy here. I don't know. Maybe I'll start with the circle, see if I like it. Before I decide to paint the whole thing. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't do that. <laughs> People ask me sometimes, do I have a plan when I do tutorials? It's yes, I have a plan. But I kind of execute the plan right like as I'm doing it. And I don't like to edit it too much. I want you to see how I really think and how I really create. I could edit it and make it perfect, do the voiceover, but that's not how my mind works. I want to show you exactly what I'm doing. So I decided to do this circle. I could have just gone over the whole thing. I was going to go over the whole thing. I stopped myself. So there, I've got that color in there. And I do want to put one more over here. I kind of like the circle. And we'll let that dry. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to see the white spaces. I want to go in between those white spaces with a really dark green color. And I'm using my number four brush. I'm just going to fill in that white space. The really dark color. I don't know why, I just felt like it. So I'm just going to fill that in. I'm just going to kind of highlight the circles that we created with the layering technique. And then we're just going to build this in, the negative space of those particular patterns. Now I could have left it white, but I decided I wanted to have it a little darker in this one in some areas. Remember, it's kind of like a doodle. So playing around. I kind of like that way that looks. And I can just add a little dark over here. Maybe dark the corners a little bit. Just to change it up a bit. And even here, you could just take your color and then just go in the center of some of these that I already did when the wet on wet. You could do some spirals with the color, with the actual, see I'm just going to do that, just a little thin line going around 
really just going to change this one up. Just a little thin line. It's kind of like a doodle. And it's just going to really make this pattern so different. I love creating patterns. I create, um, I actually have created a lot of fabric collections. And so patterns are like my thing. Okay. I'm going to let that dry and then add the gold. Okay, so that one's dry. We can go back in with this gel pen and we can put some gold accents in here. We can do the same thing with the gold, with a little spiral circle. It's like a cute little doodle. Just We're just changing things up here. Do another one here. Put some little teeny gold dots on the dark part. Just making it different. And then we're going to lift it up. Oh, I like that one a lot. It's kind of my favorite, actually. And then we put the gold stem in here. These gel pens are great. I had a hard time finding them. I got it at Michael's and I made a boo-boo because it, some of my paint got on my paper, but what are you going to do? So there you go, guys. Look at that. Four different fun doodle trees. Oh. Four different fun doodle trees. You know, the striped horizontal, the striped vertical, the layering of the um, leaves and adding some dots, another with circles. This is simple, easy, fun. Um, just, you know, creating, just creating. That's all you gotta do. Don't get so, and you're playing around wet on wet, you're playing around with patterns, you're playing around with wet media, like you're using a gel pen too. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Um, it, I don't, I've only done the layering on the artist paper. I don't know how it works on kind of cheap paper, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Same kind of premise. So you can probably use it on a little cheaper paper if you wanted to. But very simple. You saw how simple this was. And it comes up pretty elegant. You know, you could add a little star on the top and uh, whatnot. So happy creating, guys. Go have a great weekend. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.